Hello, my name is Brian Bowman, and in this video, we will be reviewing and recapping my playtest with Genesis Blizzard Synthetic Gut. Now, just that quick disclaimer at the beginning, uh, your experience with this string may differ from mine, and obviously, if you go and seek out more reviews, those are probably going to be a little bit different. Everybody is going to, you know, prefer one string or another based on your own preferences and past experiences. This is merely just a resource for you when you're trying to find that perfect string for your game. Let's start by reading the official description from Genesis. So, Blizzard Synthetic Gut is a great string for players who seek a durable like poly, but with the benefits of a soft synthetic string. Several high elastic monofilaments are compressed and used as the center core. The outer core is constructed from a very thin layer of monofilament that is twisted to aid in spin production. An elastomer resin coating completes the process. Blizzard Synthetic Gut offers plenty of pop through the elastic resin coating that increases repulsion power. The twisted outer core grabs the ball exceptionally well for increased spin and control an arm-friendly string that can be used in full jobs and hybrids. So it says here the advantages are feel and spin. On now to my experience with Blizzard Synthetic Gut. As a reminder, don't forget to go to brianbowmantennis.com where you can read my full write-up and find some other reviews that I've done. We're gonna be doing a bit of a trend with synthetic guts and actually eventually a natural gut string. In the past, I've reviewed Babalot synthetic gut, and so that's gonna be used as a point of comparison throughout. So it may be useful to go back and take a look at that review. So this string is 375 a set, so a very good value. Obviously, it's a synthetic gut, so we'll talk about the durability and long-term playability issues. I strung this in on June 1st, and the strings broke on June 17th. So let's start with durability. Obviously, not a super durable string, not marketed as such, but the issue with synthetic guts a lot of times is that you'll play with them for two to three hours and then the fall just drops off immediately. It's a very steep decline and then you have to go and restring. And this assumes that you're kind of taking big cuts at the ball. The description that we just read is actually pretty accurate for this string. And when you read my review, you'll see just how positive I am of this. If you need something that's super durable and you don't have the means to restring as frequently as you need to with this sort of a string, then you're definitely going to want to invest in something else, either a multi-filament, a polyester, or the polyester multi-filament hybrid. Obviously, I have the means to string whenever I want. And so after playing with this synthetic gut, I'm always going to have a racket with it in there. That's how much I like this string. And for my hybrid jobs, I'm probably going to be using this as the cross. The thing with Babalot Synthetic Gut is that immediately off the stringer, you get that incredible pop. You get that feel from a synthetic that you just can't get anywhere else. The problem is very quickly, you have that steep decline in playability and it all just falls off. The difference here with Blizzard is that it hangs on for a little bit longer. It plays consistent for longer. You can get the spin, you get the pop, you get the feel. It doesn't feel quite as nice as the Bablot right off the stringer, but it's consistent for longer. And for someone like me, that makes a huge difference. You don't want a racket to uh, fall off by like the middle of a second or third lesson, you want to at least make sure that throughout one day, it's going to be able to play at a high level. And that is what this string is certainly capable of doing. If you don't take a huge swing or a huge uh, swipe at the ball, good chance this is going to last you a little bit longer. But I would say for me, I was able to get almost two weeks of pretty consistent play out of it. Then the field dropped off, very steep decline, had very little control over the ball, and eventually it just broke. So it broke, as I wrote in the review, maybe like 15 to 20 minutes after I really noticed that steep decline. Uh, tension maintenance, eh, it's fine. Nothing that's really going to bug you too much. And a big, big positive of this synthetic gut. And you guys know my biggest pet peeve is strings moving and having to adjust them. That was a major problem with Thunderblast. Not an issue here. The strings only started to move again when the feel fell off and then they broke soon after that. 
So this is a soft string. It feels great. Honestly, could be used by pretty much any player. And especially if you are somebody who takes those big swings from the baseline, consider using this as the cross string in a hybrid setup and see if it gives you that little bit of extra pop. There's really not enough positive things I can say about this string in terms of how it plays. I literally have no complaints, which for me is very rare. Uh, absolutely love the feel on the arm. Again, maybe not quite as much pop as some other synthetics out there, but it lasted me longer and I was very happy with it. Um, worked great as a teaching string. Able, uh, it allowed me to alter my playing level to match some of my students, even some of the better students I have. I was able to still control their balls with heavy spin, put something back to them. Um, for a synthetic gut, for something that's 375, I mean, come on, it's an absolute no brainer to try out. And if you're stringing with me, I think I charge something like 20 bucks. Um, to have it strung. But what I would recommend, and I'm, you know, 99% of you watching this are not going to be stringing with me. If you do elect to try this string out, I would say get a couple packs of it, you know, see it, try it, see if you like it. But then definitely invest in a reel and take that to your stringer because you will need to restring every couple of weeks. Even if you're not a string breaker, that's the big deception with synthetic gut, right? You can put it in there. And for some people who don't break strings, it can last forever. But the play and the playability and the feel, it's gone after a couple weeks. And next thing you know, it's been six months and you still haven't changed those strings out. So you have to be willing to restring frequently. If you're not able to do that, then you're going to want to invest in a more expensive string. I would argue that something like Explosion from Genesis is similar. The feel is not as good, but it will stay consistent and last you, you know, exponentially, honestly, longer than something like Blizzard Synthetic Gut. But if you're willing to restring frequently, definitely something to try out. Felt great on every shot. And we'll be doing a review next on classic synthetic gut from Genesis. And trust me, uh, it's a night and day difference between the feel. And it's about a dollar difference in terms of how much it costs per set. So really, um, again, can't recommend this one enough. Definitely something to try out. People are really sleeping on synthetics, assuming you get what you pay for. In this case, you get a whole lot more than you pay for. But you just need to keep in mind that you'll need to restring frequently. You can get all the spins that you want on it. Feels good on volley, feels good on serve. Nothing else to say really other than try this one out. I loved it. Go to the website for a more detailed and organized write-up. And until next time, get out there and play.